Summers, Valerie King. It's chicken dinner tonight, isn't it? <laughs> It was a what good a win, Charlie. What a win. 73 to 67 against the defending WAC tournament champs and an NCAA tournament team a year ago. And nobody expected them to drop off very far. What a dub. Right, yeah. I mean, Southern Utah, they are, they are so, so good. I mean, in every aspect of the game, they've got a great point guard um, that controls their tempo and their and their team. Um, and they got a really good five player inside. Um, you know, I thought we did a really, really good job on Smith in the first half. Um, she kind of got going in the second half. Um, you know, they were they were really going to her at that point. But, um, you know, I, I give credit to our kids. They, they dug down and dug deep and um, were able to get a couple stops down at the end. Coach, you were, talked about before the game you might have a little advantage in speed. That appeared to show up because that speed – turned into 21 turnovers by Southern Utah, and you ended up with a 12-2 to advantage in steals. How about your defense? Yeah, you know, I thought we were very, very solid on the defensive end. Um, you know, we talk about our gap defense and still being able to make plays um, when we're sitting in the gap instead of, you know, getting up there full denial. So I thought we stayed disciplined. Um, we were able to get some run-through passes when we were able to, and we were able to get our hands on um, some of the dribbles on the inside with the five-player. Coach, the way that your team was able to knife in, get in the passing lanes, deflect basketballs to teammates, that's something that we probably haven't seen them do that aspect of the game that well in a long time. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing. We when we're working on defense in practice, it's, you know, we obviously got to be able to guard the ball one-on-one, -on -one, but it, it's our gap defense, our help defense that are the active, active, active hands and feet um, and ready to make a play, um, you know, when they're coming off those ball screens. So I thought we were really good with that tonight. All right. You take out Delani Belena and Megan Smith, and there might not have been much to fight against, but boy, Belena, 25 points today for the visitors. Megan yep. Smith, 19, and Coach, she scored 13 out of her first 15 points all in that third quarter. Yeah, I mean, that's why they, they, they had a plan. They were going right at her, you know, to start the second half, and, I mean, I would too. I mean, she's really, really good. Um, you know, I thought we after she after she got those 13 or 15 points, we finally got settled in a little bit and kind of got back to what we were supposed to be doing on the post player. So, what, and what was that? I mean, how, how were you all keeping her off? the? Book, yeah, you the know, book? we 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 were going to get the dribble once she started dribbling, um, you know, and a couple times. Um, we didn't do a great job of getting her completely off the block. You know, when, when a post player catches at two feet in the paint or, you know, right settled on the block, I mean, it, it's hard to keep a good one from scoring. So um, getting her off the block and then being able to go get the dribble at that point. It's, a, it's hard to keep a good one off the scoreboard. <laughs> Mia Deck gets six points, all of them late in the game, four of four at the fix and feed line, only one of nine shooting for the game. Jordan yep. Newsom, one of five got a bucket in the last frame and an and one how big was the play of those two scoreless throughout the whole game but they did all the other yeah things. no I mean I'm happy with all of them the thing with our kids is you know anybody could step up on any given night but the other thing is you know even if their shots aren't falling you know they're still out there hustling they're playing defense they're rebounding um, and you I mean Mia got that last steal um, to go put two free throws in at the end of the game that was clutch for us. Tell you what, the uh, number one out there didn't have a bad game today, did she? Dory yeah, Norris. Dory. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're Sorry. new here. <laughs> I didn't know the numbers all that well. Yeah, Dory, Dory was great off the bench, you know. Um, she, she, you know, had that attacking mentality. Um, you know, again, something we talk about every day. Um, you know, she was ready to play. She, she was good defensively for us. She got a couple key rebounds. Um, you know, and she took advantage of the um, the mismatches she had on the perimeter, so that was great. She had 15 points at Texas Tech. She had 16 points today for a new career best. Uh, Dory off the bench played, gave you 25 minutes, seven of 13, hit both of her threes. The only place they could find Kryptonite was uh, at the fix and feed line for her. She only had one try though. Right, yeah. I mean, Dor Dory was great for us. If we can get our kids that are coming off the bench to contribute that way, um, I mean, we're, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be okay. Got a big one coming up Friday. The University yep. of Houston's Cougs are coming up. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll get back into practice tomorrow. We'll get prepared. Um, you know, we 
I've played them at New Mexico for the past, I don't even how many years now, like constantly every year. So, um, you know, we'll get in here, get prepared, just like we get prepared for everybody else, um, you know, and we'll be ready to go on Friday night. All right, Coach, thank you so much for coming over so quick. That was a good one tonight. All right. Thanks, and Charlie. Congratulations Appreciate it. Thank to you. Him. Line up.